To demonstrate the effect that sling angle has on the resulting tension within the sling leg and any other accessories, we'll lift this bar on a simple light duty scale with a chain assembly. At the moment, we have it on one scale, and as you can see by that scale, the bar weighs 18 kilograms, and there's 18 kilograms of tension within that scale at the moment. We'll split that over two slings, two scales, and put those at an angle so we can see the resulting tension. The load has now been lifted on two sling legs, but they've been positioned at an angle. Had the legs been vertical, each one would be taking a load of 9 kilograms, a tension of 9 kilograms. So let's have a look at how the angle affects the tension. Well, in this case, the distance between the legs is equal to the leg length. Therefore, we have an equilateral triangle. The included angle between the two slings is 60 degrees. Therefore, the angle of each sling from the vertical is 30 degrees. So let's have a look at the tension. Rather than the 9 kilograms that it would be if the sling was vertical, we can see there that we have over 10 kilograms per leg. Let's increase the angle. We now have an included angle of around 90 degrees, which of course is a right angle. Therefore, the sling to vertical angle is 45 degrees. Let's have a look at the tension. The tension now has increased to above 12.5 kilograms per leg. If we were calculating that using trigonometry, we would do the vertical tension, in this case 9 kilograms, divided by the cosine of the angle. So as we see on the calculator, 9 divided by cosine 45 gives us a tension of 12.73 kilograms per leg. Let's increase the angle again. The included angle of the slings has now been increased to 120 degrees. Therefore, you've got a 60 degree sling to vertical angle. Having a look at the tension. Had the two slings been vertical, they would have had 9 kilograms each. And as you can see, there is now 18 kilograms per leg, which is twice the vertical tension. This perfectly demonstrates why 90 degrees is our maximum recommended included angle and 120 degrees should never be exceeded.